You never realize how many toys you actually have until you take them all out of the toy box. My name's Kay. I am a full, fully self-employed filmmaker, photographer, and uh, entrepreneur. I, uh, you know, travel around the world making videos and shooting photos for people, places, and things. And I wanted to make a video for you guys today about lenses, different kinds of lenses. And if you missed my last video where I talked about what a good starter camera is for new photographers and filmmakers, click the link in the description or the eye in the sky. And if you are looking for an awesome camera bag, there's another link in the description. You can go watch that video where I review an awesome backpack. It was not for a brand deal, it was just because I fucking got a new bag and it's the best camera bag that I have ever owned. And I've owned way too many camera bags and spent way too much money on crappy camera bags. So hopefully that helps you guys select your camera bag. All right, so let's, uh, let's dive right into this, uh, this video of lenses. Side note, I had a dream that I went to dinner with Elon Musk and the burgers were amazing. Elon, can we make that happen, please? I just, I'm gonna shoot for you one day, so I feel like we should just go, go get some burgers together. If you are a Canon user, if you buy a Canon camera, you typically get a lens or two lenses with your camera. Uh, typically you get a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, and this is an EF lens, and basically what that means is that this lens was created for a camera that has an EF mount. Different cameras have different mount names. Uh, I think most Canons have an EF mount, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, most Sonys have an E mount, and the list goes on and on. I think there's an M mount. I don't, there's just so many fucking different types of cameras, and basically they want you to buy all of their stuff, so anytime you switch from one brand to another brand, you pretty much have to buy all new glass. Uh, that obviously that's not always the case. Um, there are EF lenses, there are E lenses, there are M lenses. There's there's a wide array of lens types, so you do need to know about that before you buy a lens for your camera. You need to know what mount your camera is, and you need to know what lens you have, what mount it is for, because if you buy a lens that doesn't fit on your camera, you're going to be pissed, you're not going to be able to shoot right away, and it's just going to be a nightmare trying to see if you can exchange it for a different lens. God forbid you buy it off of eBay and you can't return it, or if you, I don't fucking know, found it and it doesn't work with your camera, I don't know. Basically, just know, just look, just do your research before you buy stuff. Always do your research before you buy anything, but especially when it comes to camera gear because it's fucking expensive. I will probably say this in every video because photography and film are probably one of the most uh, expensive fields to be in. So yeah, just prepare your butthole and your pocket to be burned. But yes, 50 millimeter 1.8, EF lens typically comes with your Canon camera. Uh, another lens that usually comes with them is a 35 to 75 millimeter lens. I believe that is correct. I don't have mine. I sold it because I don't use it. But yes, typically you have one or multiple lenses that come with your camera, especially if you buy it in a kit, like a starter kit. Like Canon has a starter kit. It comes with all, all kinds of cool stuff. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, that should be a good way for you to get started with your photography and video work. The doctor said I needed to take a pause, so do what your doctor says. Also, I have never taken anything from an abandoned building, but last week I was filming a music video in West Virginia and we went to an abandoned elementary school that was abandoned in 1921. It's literally been sitting there for almost a hundred years, just decaying, and uh, it was the coolest abandoned building I have ever been into thus far. There was a gymnasium, and in that gymnasium was a Dr. Pepper sign next to their billboard about 20 feet off of the floor. And uh, I walked into the gymnasium through the roof because the roof was on the floor, and uh, I saw it and said, yep, that's going home with me today. So, uh... <laughs> My friend and I spent about 45 minutes trying to get this fucking Dr. Pepper sign off the wall and we succeeded so that will be at my house in two days. I will show it to you guys and 
Don't ever take anything from an abandoned building, but uh, that was my exception. Sorry about it, but it's not going anywhere. Uh, and if they demolish the buildings, it's just gonna get thrown away. Sorry about it. I know I broke like the cardinal rule for urbexing, but I could not resist. And I am sorry to those urbexers out there that I may have offended by saying that. Don't take anything from an abandoned building because it's there for art purposes. It's not there for you to be a thief or vandalize. Don't spray paint. That's vandalism. Don't do that. That's not why you're there. You're there to capture the art and possibly capture a Dr. Pepper sign if you ever see it and then send it to me to my P.O. box, which is in the description. Yes. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's continue. Some other Canon lenses that I have that are EF mount lenses are this 80 to 200 millimeter lens. Basically anything that has a hyphen on it or does this, is a zoom lens. Uh, it has, you know, it goes from one spot, 80 millimeters, to 200 millimeters. So that's how lenses work. If you want to get something that will not stay in one spot, for example, the lens I'm using right now, or this broken on 85 millimeter lens, basically what this means, okay, so you've got, you, let me just give you a little breakdown. You've got zoom lenses and you have prime lenses. Prime lenses do not move in this direction. They only move in this direction. This adjusts your f-stop and it adjusts your focus. It does not adjust your, it doesn't adjust in distance. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't adjust in distance. It adjusts depth of field and it adjusts f-stop. Okay, so this is never gonna change from an 85 millimeter space. Okay, it's not gonna change. This one can change from 80 millimeters to 200 millimeters, okay? This one, can go from 75 millimeters to 300 millimeters. There's also a lens, I think it's the, is it a 100 to, f what is it? Is it a 100 to, or is it a 75 to 200 lens? You know the really fucking big one? The really big one? I'm gonna look it up real quick, hang on. Hang on, hang on, it's a telephoto. It's the telephoto everyone wants. So you have the Canon EF mount 70 to 200 millimeter lens. It is a two point, what is it? A 2.2 point, point, where are you? 2.8. So this is a telephoto lens. It's like super high end. It's almost $2,000 for this camera lens. Everybody wants this lens. But not only does everyone want that lens, people also want the next step up, which is the 500 millimeter F4 lens. Okay, this, this motherfucker. 500 millimeter, like can you, do you know what that means? It means really fucking far away. That's what that means, okay? So a lot of people try to save up to get the <laughs> the 500 millimeter lens, which is currently three and a half thousand dollars on Adorama. Uh, that's just an online camera retailer. I think you can buy and sell lenses through that. And like I said, the 70 to 200 millimeter lens is 1749 right now. If you get the 70 to 200 millimeter lens, you could just buy a two times converter, which then turns it into a 400 millimeter lens. So basically you're at a 500 millimeter lens at half the price. So carry a bigger lens that's heavier, costs more, or carry a smaller lens that's less and get a two times converter, which basically makes it into that other thing for half the cost. It's a no brainer, but nobody knows about that. So uh, if you want a little cheat, there's your cheat. Camera hacks, gotta love them. So EF to F to fucking E to M mount lenses. Okay, so every camera is different, right? Every body is different, every brand is different. So like I said, lenses can have different you know, types, so you can have an EF lens, you can have an E lens, you can have an M lens. There are a bunch of different, you know, lens types and uh, they won't all fit on your camera, okay? So the lens I'm shooting on right now, this is a 14 millimeter broken on cinema lens, so it's another one of these guys. This was a kit of four that I traded for a music video, half pay, and then I got this uh, lens kit for the remainder amount of money. That was for Lacey Sturm's music video, Rot. If you would like to check it out, Eye in the Sky, link in the description. Go watch it and click all of the things. Just do it because it makes me happy and it helps. Yes, this lens is an EF mount lens, so it could go on a Canon, 65, it could just, it could go on a lot of shit, but it won't go on my Sony a7S Mark II. And why want to go on my Sony a7S Mark II? I will tell you why. Sony a7S Mark IIs are E-mount cameras, okay? They're E-mount cameras, therefore you cannot put a square peg through a round hole. 
What I'm trying to say is you can't put an EF lens on an E-mount camera. Listen, Kevin Garcia, I'm a little busy right now making a video. If you want to put your Canon lenses or your Rokinon or your Olympus or whatever EF mount lens you have onto a camera with a different mount type, you can buy what is called as an adapter. So I currently have an E to EF lens mount adapter on my Sony and uh, it is from a company called Metabones. It is hella expensive, just like everything else in this business. It's super expensive, um, but the cool thing about the Metabones is that you can actually update the firmware on this adapter. It's unreal. You plug your little mount converter into your computer, you download the software, you update the firmware, and it updates the the fucking autofocus features on your, your mount. So if you have a lens, for example, that has an autofocus option, you can put it on this mount and your autofocus will work with this Sony camera. But if you don't have this, if you have a different adapter, your autofocus won't work. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It's super cool, like the, the concept of making a converter is amazing. It saves you a bunch of money from having to sell all of your EF lenses for E lenses. And uh, it just, it makes your creativity options bigger and better. So yes, get a converter. Don't sell or throw away your lenses. It doesn't mean they're useless. It just means that you have to spend a little bit more money to put them on the camera you want them on. Where do I get my lenses? Um, well, a bunch of different places. I either get them directly from the company, Rogan on Canon, or I go to a secondhand camera store which is where I got this Olympus. This is a 35 to 70 millimeter lens. This is an Olympus, super heavy. Olympus has really heavy glass. Um, this is a prime lens. D oh, just kidding. This is, <laughs> clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. This, sorry, this is a manual focus zoom lens. Uh, so there's no autofocus feature on this. It's an old school lens, which is probably why it's so fucking heavy. Uh, this, these are made out of plastic. This one's made out of metal and shit, it's heavy. I also got this guy at a secondhand camera store for $8. Um, it's a 28 to 135 millimeter lens and it's super, the glass is very, very dirty. I don't know if you can see that, but it's atrocious, so I need to clean it. I don't think I've ever shot with this. This is one of those lenses that you might destroy for a shoot. Like you might uh, intentionally break this lens and put it on your camera for an effect. There's a lot of cool things you can do with lenses that you think are unusable. I got this Vivitar, this is a seven millimeter lens. I got this from a pawn shop for 20 bucks. Uh, I don't use this very much because uh, seven millimeters is kind of obnoxious. Uh, there's a lot of distortion. You can't really tell what's in focus, especially if it's super bright or super dark. You know, it's just kind of hard to use all the time. This Optica fish eye little lens thing. This is an adapter, so like I was saying with the uh, Canon EF7200 lens, you can get a two times converter. This is kind of like that, so I would attach this onto a lens. Like, I mean, I don't think this will go on here. First, no, it won't, okay. Well, you have to have the proper lens, but you can add this onto a lens, which will give it a wide angle feel, and I can actually look through here and take the uh, thumbnail photo. But uh, yeah, you can probably see through that as well. I'm um, not really sure. Let me just kiss you a little bit. Just kiss you with that. Yeah, so uh, this guy's pretty cool. Um, don't use it, but it's, you know, it's a cool little, cool little toy to put on display. Just a little fish eye lens. And if ever comes a day where I have, you know, a reason to use it, I will use it. I think the most important thing I can tell you guys about lenses is maintenance. I recommend that you put a filter on all of your lenses to keep it from getting scratched or to keep from getting it dirty and dusty. So this is a UV filter lens. So this is my camera lens. This is a filter. You put it on top. This protects your glass of your lens from scratches, dents, bumps, UV rays. There's also filters that have, you know, graduated filters. So it'll be darker at the top and it'll gradually get lighter. There's all kinds of stuff. You have red filters, you have blue filters, you have green filters. You, there's all kinds of lens filters. Um, but typically we use them to protect our lenses, to protect the glass. There's another one on my 24. So that's probably the most important thing I can tell you. I also have one on my 50 millimeter. There you go, boom, little ultraviolet lens. Um, and if you're trying to figure out what 
size you should get because uh, these adapter rings, they don't say like, this is for a 50 millimeter lens. They are actually measured by the circumference of the actual lens. And usually you can see that on the lens, but that's not the case all the time. So this 50 millimeter is actually, has a 52 millimeter circumference. So you need to go out and you need to buy a 52 to 58 adapter ring. So something that says 52 millimeters on it because that is the circumference of your lens. So you need to get an adapter that will fit that. So that's what I did here. And then I put my UV filter lens on that adapter and you're good to go. That's how you do that. Lenses, lens filters, lens types, lens brands, and lens, uh, yeah lenses. Lots of toys, lots of expensive things to buy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you would like me to talk about in the next one. Don't forget every Monday and Wednesday I have an adventure video that I post where I typically go to abandoned buildings and explore them because that's what urban exploration is and that's what I love to do and my mother hates that I love to do it because it's not a very safe thing to do. But mom, you know what else isn't a safe thing to do? Drive my car. Go skydiving, swim in the ocean with sharks, uh, walk up a mountain, go into the forest, rock climb, ride a bicycle, ride a motorbike, a pineapple, or a cactus, or cuttlefish, um, hold a snake, uh, go garden, because bees. There's a lot of things, Mom, but I just happen to love exploring abandoned buildings, and uh, I love you and I'm sorry that I stress you out. There are worse things I could do. At least I wear a respirator and go with a buddy. Take a buddy. Yes, uh, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Basically this whole video is me apologizing to my mom for being adventurous and reckless at the same time. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys want me to talk about in the next video. And uh, if you have any other questions, please let me know. Don't hesitate to ask, that's why I'm here. Some of these lenses that I don't use, for example, this Vivitar seven millimeter lens, probably this super wide fisheye lens, probably this Olympus lens, and my DJI Phantom 3 Professional will be on my website for sale because I'm trying to get rid of these guys so I can get some new Sigma art lenses and I'm probably going to get rid of these guys as well for some Sigma, Sigma art lenses. So if you're interested, head over to my website, kanagoniophotography.com, follow me on the social media, all on the screen right now, and go watch some other videos. Thank you guys, you're the best, stay strong, keep enduring, and go shoot something. It's fun. <laughs>